Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. <clears throat> Got a real neat little, uh, neat little project uh, I, 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 I took on to show you. A neat little old school style, fresh built, fresh built, straight off the hot plate. The hot plate's that little Debbie table over there. <laughs> and you can tell I just got done doing a little something something over there. A 2X and Motorola MRF 455 stud mount. Class C amplifier with automatic SSB delay. And uh, let me show you where I got the uh, neat little looking small but deadly case from I got five of these microwave amplifiers class C amplifiers from a buddy of mine these are one driving one yeah, small transistor hitting a bigger transistor it's pretty much designed to take one watt from a small HT um, right around the 2 meter 166 megahertz range and to convert 1 watt to 35 which is more like 300 watts on on the more HF type bands or whatever so anyway I had three of these and it hit me and I, you know, I was sitting there looking at it and I was like huh I'm not going to use these probably and I could just take these boards out, and if I find any use for this in the future, I could just grab the board and put it on a heat sink. And plus, I had some stud mount 455s I needed to get rid of and use. So I broke down the box like here, like you see here. That nasty looking green color. Repainted it, as you can see. And did a fresh build on it. So this right here will be the next one one more after that I might keep one of them I'll see I might just do two we'll see how everything's going but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out uh, the only reason you don't, you don't see a variable or a high low switch is because this front right here is top is part of the top case or the bottom case bottom portion of the case so if, if you ever wanted to open this this has to come with it so I thought it'd be better just to do a high uh, on and off switch and uh, put a little bit of resistance on the input there. And, uh, you know, because if you had a variable on there or, or high low switch, you know, you'd have, you know, a lot more wires that had to come with it. So let's go ahead and jump into this video real quick and show you the output of it. Uh, I'm not going to pop the top off of it. I'll have pictures on eBay that I've already took because uh, I ain't saying it's impossible or super hard to take it apart, but... The way these these aren't just holes right here on the side of the case, I had to get it lined up just perfectly so that the the heat sink is perfectly level like that on both sides, and that was kind of a <laughs> kind of a, a challenge. So I don't want to have to do, go, do, go through all that again. So I'll ha I have pictures I already took of the of the build I'll be putting on eBay here, but uh, a lot of times when I do a little custom build like this uh, you know using a use case or something like that most of the time I won't throw my logo on it but uh, I felt good enough about this one um, to where it looked good enough to me I mean it almost looks like a brand new build I mean I mean it is a brand new build but what I'm saying case wise you know it almost looks like a brand new case uh, you know it looks good so I, I throw it throw my logo on there man shoot all right, let's do this thing. Got the stock cover 29 right there. I'm gonna shoot through this because I gotta go to my other better house house tonight. All righty. Oh, te 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 adi 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 o. We're gonna be putting 21 watts PEP. Uh, and then lot lights on. We're on 30 uh, 13.9 volts so. So you can see that. Yeah, sometimes it's hard with that flash on there. 13.9 volts. 
handwriting. It does have automatic SSB delay. I pretty much do that default these days. Alrighty. Here's the dead key. Alright, a 1 watt, well, 1.2 watt dead key produces about a 12 watt dead key. Like I said, I put a little bit of resistance on the input, about 28 ohms. So that's kind of like having a 100 ohm variable on there cut back just a little bit to about 70% or so. So, you know, it, I do that kind of protect it so, you know, all the RF just isn't slammed into the two uh, 455s to kind of give a little bit of protection there to, to, you know, a user that might not exactly understand how to run an amp that's just balls the wall. <laughs> all righty. All righty, 222 watts. Give a quick shout out to Mr. Triple Two. <laughs> Mr. Mall dropping Triple Two out there on the 222 watts. All right, check out the input tune here. You got this tune tuned out very well. <laughs> 10 watt slug in reverse. The 100 is 10, 40 is 4, 20 is 2. This thing barely moves. Beautiful tune. All righty, 220 watts. Let's go ahead and crank her up to 15.2 volts. 15.3 volts. Kind of give you a little reality if you were driving a little bit harder on the same 13.9 voltage. Let's see what the dead key gives us. All right, about a 15 watt dead key. It's beautiful, man. You can up that dead key a little higher if you want a higher dead key from your radio. All righty, about 260, 259, 260 watts. Phenomenal out of two 455s. All righty, 266 watts. Beautiful input tune. Good God the money. Beautiful output tune. Looking good. All righty. About right about 260 watts on 15 volts. Phenomenal. Phenomenal for two 455s. Just hitting it with a little bit of watts that I'm hitting it with. Amperage swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Well, there you go. A little gatekeeper production. We're going to throw it up on uh, eBay. Go ahead and be, uh, put together about one or two more. Get them wise hot. Little nice little two uh, old school stack map. 455 Motorola's. Make a little nice driver. Use that radio, that dead key variable on that radio. Get your dead key exactly where you want it. As you see here, let's turn this back off, let you see exactly where my dead key's at. I got a 1.1 watt dead key. I mean, <laughs> a 1.1 watt dead key. I you want to give you a little idea. I've really never done this before. I, like to, I usually don't mess with my dead key. I'll turn my dead key up to 2 watts. A lot of people run 2 watt dead keys here. Got a two watt dead key. Let's see what kind of dead key it gives us out of the amp. I have a two watt dead key. It'd help if I turned it on, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good job. Ah, shoot, y'all. My, my, my battery's so low it's done ran out of flash. <sighs> Sorry about that. 
I'm going to go ahead and stop this thing. I press this close button, it's going to stop it, and I can't see the screen, you know. So, anyway, I'm guessing a two watt dead kid probably give it a probably uh bump the deck up to about 30 watts that's what it was looking like before the screen messed up there all right y'all have a good one mr gatekeepers clear